But my oath of office is unequivocal that I owe it to the nation to uphold the law and protect our institutions from being undermined. I do not think that there are more credible basic document requirements for establishing nationality or citizenship than a birth certificate or a passport. An appropriate acceptable mechanism has been provided in the law to verify the claims of those who have neither. What then are we to make of the outrage being orchestrated by some high-ranking leaders of the opposition and some members of the minority in parliament when all the evidence points to their enthusiastic support of the National Identity Register Amendment Bill when it came before them in the House. And I pray that we abandon giving politics a bad name and support this exercise to proceed rapidly to a successful end. The language of denationalization or threats of civil war are, to say the least, extremely unfortunate. I am confident that the good sense of the Ghanaian people and the vigilance of the law enforcement agencies will together be sufficient to defeat any ill-conceived, destructive adventure for achieving narrow parochial partisan ends. The lust for power should not cloud one's sense of judgment. To call yourself a Ghanaian means you must be a responsible citizen.